This is an Evergo ceiling fan model 4E-2W. These were uh, made for and sold by Montgomery Ward. Uh, I believe that these are the earliest Evergos with wood blades. I think these went back to uh, 79. I'll have to check my Ward's catalogs. <clears throat> but I believe that these are uh, these are the earliest. So, um, I've had this fan since I was a kid, at least high school, maybe middle school. Um, when I was an actual kid, like 10 years old or whatever, I saw one of these through the window of a uh, abandoned service station. Like, it was in the, the car repair portion of it. They had some GE vent or something in the uh, waiting area. Um, and it was hanging in the center of the garage. At the time, I thought it was a four-blade, you know, Newtone Proline with uh, wood blades, and I was very excited to see such a thing. Then when I fi finally saw one of these up close and figured out what it was, I was disappointed that it wasn't a Newtone. So I've never actually hung this uh, before because I kind of uh, had a grudge against these, but uh, I needed to uh, find some new fans to test uh, until some packages get here, and figured since I've never done a video of one of these, why not? So this is a extremely cool video for another reason. This is the debut of my new fan testing rig here. This is to replace all of the controls that I might test a fan with other than the Evergo 5-speed, which I would only do with very specific fans. <coughs> so what we have here is called the Decade Capacitor, and all it really is is it goes, it's a a capacitor or a bunch of capacitors that, that can be changed in value from 1 to 10. So it's, you know, 0 microfarads, 1 microfarads, up to 10. Then here, this adds another 10 microfarad capacitor in parallel. So if it's at 0, now it'll be a 10. If it's at 1, now it'll be 11. If it's at 9, now it'll be 19. This adds another 10 microfarad capacitor. So if it's at 1, and you do both of these, now it's at 21. If you do 9, now it's at 29. This bypasses everything and goes to high. Then I can switch from the capacitors to the solid state control and test it with that. And this um, bypasses the amp meter, so if for whatever reason I'm testing something and I don't have the amp meter, um, normally then you wouldn't be able to get power to it without going through the amp meter, but this bypasses that. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, new fan testing rig, pretty cool. Uh, so let's give it a shot. We're going to start right out here. Zero to one. Now it's at one microfarad. I was originally going to build it with a ten, a ten and a half. So you could do one and then one and a half, two, two and a half. And the reason I didn't is because I realized that the tolerance on these capacitors is more than a half. So, for example, if this is one, this might be one and a half just in the box and that's within the tolerances that are acceptable you know a 10 microfarad capacitor might be an 11 or a 9 um, and I did check these most of these are pretty within spec but some of them are uh, some of them are uh, enough are more than a half off so it didn't really seem and that's the same with my controls when I've tested the you know my 5 10 15 I think it's five and a quarter nine and three quarters I guess that adds up to 15. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But it's not, you know, out of the realm of possibility. Tolerances on capacitors are, I think, plus or minus 10%, plus or minus, uh, yeah, plus or minus 10%, I think, is right. So a 10 could be a 9 or 11 and still be within spec. So, okay, so we're at 1.04, no movement. 2.09. No movement. 3.15. No movement. 4.2. And we get movement. So this seems like this would be a good fan for a 4711 control. Okay, so I'm just going to go take that up to 5. 0.25, 6, 
seven point three four eight point three nine nine point four three ten point four seven so we're up to ten this is uh <coughs> I'm not sure how old this is it's predates the 70s that's all I know they still make them this was just an eBay find and it had been tested I didn't want to buy one that hadn't been tested in case the values were way off but it had been tested so we're at 0 0.47 with 10 okay so then I'm going to take it back to 0 back to 10 11 point six eighteen point six two nineteen point six three twenty point six five okay drop it back to zero now we're at twenty with these point six five again twenty one still at point six five twenty two point six six 23, 0.66, 24, 0.67, 30, where are we at, 20, 25, 0.67, 26, 0.68, 27, 0.69, 28, 69, 29.69, 30.7. Let's flip it to high. Goes up to 0.72. Okay. Turn those off. What's next for this? Let's turn the solid state control. Turn it to solid state. Meanwhile, I can turn this back to zero and let it spin down. Sixty one degrees up here, that's pretty good. It was warmer than that when I got here because the sun was still out, but uh, it got it cooled down. I forgot to do the airflow test. I've been getting used to the new control setup, so we'll come back to that. Okay, let's inch the solid state control up. See, it jumped up to 0 0.18, so I'm going to back it off to like 0 0.1. <coughs> okay. 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16. 0.17, there we go, 0.17 is where we start. Evergo's are notorious for stalling out, so we'll see how it does. Yep, I shouldn't have said anything, I spoke it up. 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 
Okay, point two is its good starting point. Okay, you can see where we're at. So let's do an eighth of a turn. Takes us to point three five, and it is buzzy. Another eighth of a turn takes us to point five, and that is extremely buzzy. Another eighth of a turn takes us to point six two. And a lot of the buzz goes away when I take it to high, 0.72. <clears throat> okay, and then I can compare solid state to just a direct short. 0 0.72, 0 0.69. <clears throat> Okay. These are not known for having a very noticeable breeze, but they do move air kind of like a curve bladed fan where it goes outward. Let's see what we got over here. <coughs> okay, it's better than I expected. It um it's one of those things where I can really tell if there's air moving all around me, but it's not a direct breeze, but it's a lot of air moving all around me, so that's not half bad. Okay. <clears throat> In this case, I am going to try it with the Evergo control, since it is an Evergo. So, I thought about building an Evergo control into it, but they're, they're break, and they're clunky, and it just didn't seem like it was practical. Just the ladder. I thought it was in the right place for the <clears throat> phone stand, but it was not. How's that? That's some of my best work right there, I think. Okay. <clears throat> what do I do now? I can just unplug the fan. <clears throat> all I can, all I'm gonna do, the fan was plugged in via that orange extension cord. I decided I didn't want to mess around with. Okay, I'm gonna need a ground adapter plug for this. I guess in the future when I'm going to do this, I can have this set up already and just have the Evergo control set to high. <coughs> Only downside is this will make for much shorter videos. And, uh, I know some people enjoy the long videos. Other people think they're too long. Okay. <clears throat> Ever go five speed control, speed five. What am I missing? Oh, I didn't plug the Evergo control in. <clears throat> Brilliant. Point three five. Speed four point four four. Something's buzzy now that wasn't buzzy before. I think I locked knocked something loose with the solid state control. Speed three <coughs> point five two. Speed two point five seven. 
No, it's the transformer was inducing that. I take away the transformer and no hum. Speed one. Interesting. So just because I want to experiment and confirm that the transformer is inducing that buzz, I'm going to let it spin down and then I'm going to... Well, I guess I don't need to let it spin down multiple times. Let's add a 10 microfarad. Let's make it 20. Why not? No buzz. 10. <clears throat> no buzz. Fifteen. No buzz. Yeah, at the transformers doing it. Weird. Okay, high. Off, and we'll spin down. cord coming right down by my head was tripping me out there for a second. I was confused. Okay, just to show you guys, that's where we're at control-wise. Now you see the Evergozers back there. That's plugged in right here. Fan is plugged into it down there, so it's pretty straightforward. Last thing I'll add to the video, since some people are interested in this, um, I added my third shop light back here in the little dark corner that I complained about being dark. If you watch all my videos, so I put that 1950s era strip light there first, and I wasn't crazy about that, so I added the shop light. And the uh, <coughs> jury's still out, but at least it matches the other fixtures. And it's preheat, which is, it means it is cool starting up. And then I put that uh, 1950s single lamp strip light down there, which has a one amp ballast, so it starts extremely quickly. I had a lot of people comment on that. I'll show you. So, meanwhile, all the other stuff is taking a sweet time starting up. So, um, <clears throat> yep, new, new control, old fan, but never tested before. Many things are cool. Thanks for watching.